the drone wars just got serious. Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So I've been thinking a lot about drones and how they're gonna help me create some really awesome aerial footage and do some interesting things going forward, especially with all the traveling I'm doing and with the fact that in 2017, I'm going to do almost twice as much traveling. That's gonna be nuts. Not to mention I should be moving and that could be very interesting. With that in mind, I've got two really appealing options for drones. There is the GoPro Karma, of course, and I know almost all of you must have seen like Casey Neistat's uh, video on that. I'll go ahead and I'll link that up for you guys. But um, it was really impressive to watch the GoPro Karma and see what the GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition, which shoots 4K, the kind of footage that it could do. And I was really impressed with it, and it was my first uh, option, but DJI, is not sleeping on this at all and they actually just announced the DJI Mavic uh, Pro and that is amazing because it's the size of a freaking water bottle. This thing is considerably smaller. I would say that the design actually looks like it's much more sleek and much more uh, durable than what they have with the Karma and from Casey Neistat's video which I'll also link up here, I was even more impressed with this than I was with the Karma. The Mavic Pro is a design marvel as far as I'm concerned, and DJI does have the track record for making some of the best drones out there. They are the industry leader. But on the other hand, the GoPro Karma is not just a drone, it's an entire system. The camera for the Karma is probably actually a little better, and being able to detach the camera completely and use the gimbal system as an action cam, that's actually really impressive, and what Casey showed us in his video was something that I just can't ignore. The implications of this, if you are trying to do anything from a filmmaking standpoint, or trying to do um, you know, something a little bit more interesting with your online video content or with clients, I think that the overwhelming potential of these smaller, more compact, more consumer-friendly drones, with them being at a price point of about $1,000, it just makes a lot of sense. There are so many options with them and it, the flexibility is nuts. There's more flexibility, I think, in the Karma than there is in the Mavic. And so the, the hard thing for me was that the Mavic is the better overall drone and has the better all dr overall drone system. However, the controller does also rely on your phone for the dual screen setup, whereas the GoPro Karma actually has a control that's completely independent of your smartphone. And so it's a really interesting dynamic. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but I'm leaning toward the Mavic at least initially because of the simple fact that DJI has the best track record, it is the smaller, more compact of the two drones, and it is also the cheaper of the two. With all that considered, that's kind of the direction I'm leaning in right now, but I'm still going to ultimately probably get the GoPro Karma for the simple fact that in buying the bundle with the GoPro Karma, I would also get the GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition that shoots 4K video. And you guys know I'm all about 4K video now, so, as I transition, I know that I could get that camera system later because I think for a beginner drone, the DJI is the superior drone out of the two, and I think it has the most, uh, you know, the best overall control setup and the best track record and the best features. And so I'm really thinking about that. And it also has a somewhat longer battery life. But I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. Are you going to get the DJI Mavic Pro or are you going to get the GoPro Karma? which drone is best for what you're doing and why. Let me know in the comment section. Also, I'm running a poll, so go ahead and vote. Anyway, I'm also gonna do a video on my thoughts exclusively on the Mavic and my thoughts on the uh, GoPro Karma. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed and staying tuned for that because I'd love to just talk with you guys more about what I'm thinking and how I plan to use these drones. If you have questions about some of the camera gear that I plan to purchase uh, in the near future here, uh, including some of the lenses that I'm gonna be getting for the Panasonic Lumex G7, go ahead and talk camera gear with me in the comment section. I always love geeking out with you over that stuff. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Also, check out some videos uh, from Casey Neistat about drones, and also check out Sarah Dietschy's video about the DJI event. Uh, she had some cool perspectives. She's going to probably be picking up one of these drones herself, and I think that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see her stuff. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today with the drone of your choice.